and welcome back. So one more unit of concentration, and then we'll have a fun little problem. We'll try and switch between a whole bunch, and that is the mole fraction or mole percent. So the mole fraction is uh, typically given the symbol X, actually, and it is the number of moles of what you're looking at. So maybe we're looking at the solute uh, divided by the number of moles of the solution. And so that would be the number of moles of the solute uh, divided by the number of moles of the solution. So that would be solute uh, plus solvent. So sometimes one is more useful, sometimes the other is more useful. And the other thing is the mole percent. So the mole percent is just like it sounds. You take the fraction and you multiply by 100. So it's the uh, mole fraction times by 100. So for instance, if you've got a mole fraction of 0 0.02, that is a 2% mole percentage. All right, so let's apply this to a problem. So maybe we dissolve 12 grams of formaldehyde, yum yum, in 78.8 grams of water. And we want to know what is the mole fraction of formaldehyde and also what's the mole percent. So uh, we can do that. We just need to convert everything to moles. So we've got 12 grams of formaldehyde. And if we add up the weights of carbon to hydrogens and an oxygen, we get 30.03. So that would be the number of grams in a mole. And uh, we do that and we get 0 0.3996 and significant figures we probably shouldn't write past there, moles of formaldehyde. So I was kind of naughty there, wasn't I? So I didn't write my formaldehyde in here, and I didn't write my formaldehyde in here. And we can do the same thing for the water, right? So water, 78.8 grams we're starting with, and if you've done this a few times, then you might actually remember this. There is 18.02 grams of water in a mole of water, and so we can see that's going to be much bigger than one. So that is 4.373, three significant figures. The extra one is a guard digit moles of water. And if we want the mole fraction of the formaldehyde, right, we're just taking the moles of formaldehyde and we are dividing that by the total moles of solution. So the solution has formaldehyde. Okay. And it has water, so we can see the water is the biggest component. So if you forgot about the formaldehyde, it wouldn't make a dramatic difference here. But uh, again, we shouldn't really do that. So the mole fraction then is 0 0.0837. And as a percentage, right, we're just multiplying by 100, so it would be 837 mole percent. So that would be the percent moles, I suppose, in the solution. Now, we weren't asked to find the mole percent of water, but we could. And in fact, we could just divide the number of moles of water by the number of moles of everything. Or we could just go ahead and say, we know these must add up to 100%, or we know that the fractions must add up to 1. So we can really just subtract the this number here away from 1. So that gives us something like 0 0.9163, or if you like, 91.63% percent uh, water so we don't have to calculate it sometimes we can kind of cheat and say we know everything has to add up to one in terms of mole fractions or the mole percents have to add up to a hundred and that's another way we can do that kind of problem